this is a question from Jane in Auckland, and the question is, the earthquake in Christchurch was recently said to be an aftershock from nearly 10 years ago. How can you tell the difference between an aftershock and a new earthquake? Um, I think the place to start with that one is to understand what an aftershock is, and there's there's not really a clear definition of it. And what we what, how we tend to think of aftershocks is there an aftershock is just another earthquake, but it's an earthquake that's occurring earlier in time because it was influenced by this this big impact from from the initial main shock that kind of shook up the, the earth and causes the earthquakes to happen happen earlier. Um, so we can think that earthquakes that happen immediately after the main shock, those those are for sure, those are going to be aftershocks. And as you get further and further away from time, they're less likely to be aftershocks, meaning they're less likely to be influenced by that, that first event. And the way we can start to, to understand that is we look at the, the numbers of events that were occurring prior to the main shock and compare that to whatever is occurring now. And right now we're still getting more, say, after earthquakes of magnitude three and greater in, in the, the Christchurch region than we were prior to Darfield. So everything that's happening now is still influenced by, by the main shock, the Darfield event. Um, so hopefully that helps you to understand um, why this is still considered an aftershock.